the next kind of learning is reinforcement learning so what you have seen so far is you have seen structured learning you have seen unstructured learning you have seen semi-structured learning and the final kind of learning which we are going to see in this series is reinforcement learning so reinforcement is a type learning type for machine learning and thereby also a branch of artificial intelligence it allows machines and software agents to automatically determine the ideal behavior within a specific context in order to maximize its performance simple reward feedback is required for the agent to learn its behavior this is known as a reinforcement signal so the reinforcement agents work by storing or evaluating always evaluating itself in whatever action it is doing and each and every experience of the agent or each and every substate and the agent will come across while its operation will be evaluated with a reward or a desired value and that will be stored again in the memory this will help the agent to improve an example include a mobile robot decides where it should enter a new room in search of more trash to collect or start trying to find its way back to its battery recharging station it makes its decision based on the current charge level on its battery and how quickly it was able to get back to the recharging station in the past so based on that decision it will make the decision of whether it should go back quickly to the charging station or not if we consider this simple layout then you can see that the agent is working in an environment and based on each and every action that the agent is doing there is a reward which is associated so based on each of every action will be evaluated based on a benchmark which was des desired and that benchmark will decide the reward and in the simple case of a child if you see that a child while it's learning to walk it will fall and get up it will fall and get up so to, in order to give motivation to the child you could keep a reward like every correct step or every few steps the child will walk you can give a chocolate and this will motivate the child to walk more so such such is a simple example which could be seen in the situation of how reinforced learning could work so how supervised learning is different from reinforcement learning so the reinforced learning and uh, supervised learning are somehow similar that they will include the labels as in case of unsupervised learning the data did not include any label but in supervised learning somebody always cross validates the output with desired results when the number of possible outcomes are small this can be successful but like an example of a chess game where there can be thousands of possible moves it's not possible to cross validate all all also it's possible to get better results by self learning based on experience so if you're designing a game chess game or simple chess game computer program so a reinforcement learning could help the game to learn to play on its own and while it's playing on its own with before fine tuning the system you could put the system to thousands of different games and based on the different games it will learn something new learn which move was correct which was wrong and based on all that knowledge the game could itself become a better and a better algorithm could be possible so that one that's one way how a reinforced learning could be useful and it could be applied in different levels of artificially intelligent machines and again how is unsupervised learning different from re supervised learning In, re in reinforced learning there is a mapping of input and output this gives a better result on output can be more close to desired level based on the rewards and penalty but in unsupervised learning there is no relation between input and output the goal more is to find patterns from a large data feed it to the machine machine is now able to make action on various parameters based on what it understood from the patterns or data like suggesting articles to person based on his previous read history in reinforced learning the user would be able to give a feedback on articles he did not like from one suggested thus improving the knowledge graph of the machine for the user so if there is a automatic virtual machine which will suggest a user the articles which he would like to read so in such case it the machine will suggest based on the history of what the user liked previously or uh, there are thousands of users of similar category and there are suppose there are thousands of students so they have been reading a particular kind of articles so based on that if there is a new student or a person in that age range he could be given a suggestion of an article which he could like 
but in reinforced learning the person could suggest back that he did not like this article so based on that the future articles could be suggested such kind of learning or improvement in, during the working is, is possible by using the reinforced model so the method which is uh, applied to put in the reinforced learning is a Markov decision process this can be defined as a set of states set of actions reward function policy and a value the set of action we took to define our policy and the rewards we get in turn of our value so this is how a simple Markov function can be defined and Markov function for, forms the basis for defining or the designing the algorithms for reinforced learning so if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment also to watch other videos in this series